Good evening, adventurer, and welcome to the Sinning Angel Tavern. My name is Voltaire, and once again we return to the Tales of Enoch. Shall we? The Insurgents The ECA designation for the Exiles Bunch of trigger-happy murderers who will stop at nothing to kill and torture everyone they see. Not even their own men are safe. They believe that the ECA lied to them about the anomaly storm, preaching on and on about how all they wanted was food and shelter. Said the ECA simply chose to abandon those they left on Earth, refusing to believe that the walls already contained more people than they could maintain. Hell, they even claimed it was the exact same as Earth that safety was only for the President Nyberg and the other ECA heads of office. Just like how they were able to bring their wives and children while everyone else had to pick and choose who they were going to leave to die on Earth. Had they left it at that, they might have been able to get somewhere. Actually, it might even have had a point. Sadly for the insurgents, they were responsible for more of their own deaths than the ECA at that point. But eventually, the angry protests and bombings became a much more direct threat. You see, while the insurgents far outnumbered the ECA soldiers, they had inferior weapons and no military training, and it was a lost cause. That is, until the first altered showed up. He single-handedly turned the tide of war in favor of the insurgents. The ECA just couldn't put him down. Much to their dismay, he wasn't the only altered for very long. Eventually, the ECA's top brass realized the first city was doomed. So they set their sights on moving to a new location, the future ECA headquarters of Rifttown. Too little, too late. The first altered managed to bring the splintered groups of the insurgents together, driving them all toward a single target. The first city became a bloodbath. They killed everyone who hadn't made it to Rifttown and officially declared war on the ECA. To make things worse, the ECA had infighting of its own. Top officials decided to try a Trojan horse tactic sent the insurgents a food truck loaded with a nuclear warhead. However, that also meant nuking the entirety of the first city and all that was left of it. The Outriders didn't appreciate that. They intercepted the convoy and hid the bomb in a bunker out there somewhere. Their plan failing and the number of altered increasing, the ECA panicked and in an attempt to find a peaceful resolution, they invited the insurgent leaders into Rift Town. Want to guess how that went? The first altered killed every last official in a matter of moments, signaling the rest of the insurgency to attack. If it weren't for Seth, Rift Town wouldn't even be here. He stood alone as the first ECA altered and put down the assault. But with the heads of the government dead, the only one left to take their place as Grand Marshal was a young engineer by the name of Shira. Yeah, that same stubborn pain in the ass who's currently in charge of Rifttown. Believe it or not, she wasn't always that bad. But that's a story for another time. As you can imagine, Shira's appointment didn't sit well with everyone. She was just an engineer. And she was a part of the landing crew that got everyone into this mess. As such, Shira had to deal with several attempts to remove her from the seat. Ultimately, she just went the full evil overlord route and had them put to death. No trial necessary. The ECA splintered into three separate factions. Corrigan out in Trenchtown, Shira's faction here in Rifttown, and a third out in the quarry, ran by an outrider. 
They tried to stay neutral, but eventually Corrigan seized control over it. Despite their differing beliefs and their demand to stay separate, the factions of the ECA couldn't stand alone for very long. Both had something the other needed. So they set up Dead Rock Pass as a trade route. But as with all things in this story, it wasn't easy for long. The insurgents braved the forest just to launch raids on the quarry, eventually seizing control over it and limiting the amount of resources the ECA could get a hold of. This forced a full-scale alliance between Corrigan and Shira for one singular purpose, to wipe the insurgents from the face of Enoch. And finally, in 2161, the Endless War officially began, bringing the human population from half a million to less than 70,000. Most of those survivors don't even remember why they're fighting anymore. It's just the simple, instinctive feeling, I want the other side to die. Well, I think this is where I'll leave this one. Next time I'll get into the rest of the Outrider stories. That new Keist, a bit about the old Outriders perhaps. Until then, Outrider signing out. Just another war where everyone sucks. It's an ever-present pattern I've come to find. No matter what world you're on or what cause behind it, very seldom is there ever truly a good guy. Well, if you enjoyed this little excerpt, please leave a like and hit the subscribe and bell icons to support the channel and be notified of all future content. We also have links below to more of our content and our After Hours Discord. Please feel free to join and say hi. We also stream live on Twitch every Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. We hope to see you there. For now, adventurer, I'll see you on the other side of the veil.